Neustadt. And I'm Dr. Hahn. We are both pediatric orthopedic surgeons specializing in spine surgery here in the Tampa Bay area. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to replace any treatment by your physician. The human spine features many natural curvatures which help our bodies move and to be flexible. Scoliosis is an abnormal twisting of the spine. It is a condition that affects many children, teenagers, and adults. How do you know if your child has scoliosis? Well, their shoulders, hips, and back may look uneven. To determine if your child has scoliosis, the doctor will ask the child to bend forward to reveal any rotational deformities. This is called the Adams Forward Bending Test. The doctor will also look for any limb length inequalities, neurologic findings, or other potential causes of scoliosis. The cause of scoliosis is unknown. It does tend to be genetic and run in some families. We define scoliosis as curvature of the spine greater than 10 degrees. Bracing is generally indicated for curves that are from 20 to 30 degrees and surgical treatment is sometimes indicated in curves greater than 40 degrees. The spine has a normal curvature which allows weight to be supported in an upright posture. An exaggeration of this curvature is known as kyphosis and the most serious type of kyphosis is Schuerman's disease. Most common in the upper back or the thoracic spine, kyphosis is generally thought to be caused by abnormal growth of the vertebral body where the front part stops growing before the back part. This causes the vertebral body to assume a web-shaped position, which you can see here. Kyphosis can also be caused by traumatic compression fractures or degenerative conditions such as arthritis. Unlike scoliosis, in Schuerman's disease, boys are affected more often than girls. It also presents in early adolescence and will present with the shoulders becoming more rounded and with progressive back pain that is typically made worse with activity and better with rest. The diagnosis is made with clinical exam and radiographs measuring the kyphotic angle. A kyphotic angle greater than 50 degrees is generally considered diagnostic. Bracing is one of the treatment options for scoliosis. It's indicated when scoliosis curves are greater than 20 or 25 degrees in patients who are still growing. This is an example of a Providence brace. It's used at night only, and it's typically the type of brace we order for teenagers and preteens. This is an example of a patient who has a 35 degree curve in the thoracic spine and a 27 degree curve in the lumbar spine. And in the brace, both curves straighten out almost completely. It's important to remember that the brace doesn't actually correct the scoliosis. The hope is that it just slows the progression of the curve or halts it altogether. The goal is to keep the curve under 40 degrees when the child reaches skeletal maturity. We hope that this helps you understand when bracing is indicated. It's not for every child, but when it is, you can be sure that we'll recommend it for yours. There are a number of different treatment options for scoliosis, and these include observation, bracing, and surgery. Each child is different, and we'll recommend the best option for your child. If you or your pediatrician suspects your child has scoliosis or kyphosis, please call our office to schedule an appointment.